so when we were looking at, you know, main tanks uh, to potentially, you know, uh, head into that, you know, the sort of leadership in-game role for um, our Overwatch roster, um, I found Squeak um, through the spin program. And, you know, immediately after watching some of his streams and seeing some of the other footage of him playing, um, I noticed just his ability to, like, take over games and really control the map with his Reinhardt. Um, and that's something that, you know, is just obviously super important uh, within a main tank is somebody that can, you know, lead the team and take charge um, and really, you know, do do their, their role respectively. Um, Squeak is definitely not an overzealous player. He knows his role. He knows what he's supposed to do. So he's never going to step out of that um, and try to, you know, play the hero. Um, but if needed, he can definitely, you know, pop off um, and have those moments where, you know, he um, he puts his hammer down. You know, he really, um, you know, can take over the game uh, with, with some of the moves that he can pull off uh, on that Reinhardt. And even, you know, he's been learning Garissa. Uh, I know he, he plays a nasty Winston. So just the diversity in which he can play those tanks, too. Um, I think he's really, really good. He's already in a really good mental space in that he's super determined and super um, accountable uh, with this stuff. Um, you know, his admissions process, I think, is one of the shortest we've ever had simply because he was always in communication, always checking his email, um, always on top of stuff uh, the way he needed to be. Um, it's obviously, it's obvious when you talk to Squeak that he's still young, right, coming out of high school. And so it's even, you know, more insane that he has four years to come here and grow uh, mentally. Um, and just his willing, willingness to help people uh, that, you know, might not be as skilled as him and to really come in and, you know, play that mentorship role already um, is something that made me think really highly of him uh, initially. Awesome. Um, how do you see him fitting into the uh, culture you have? You mentioned he's, he's a 2021 so younger player um, coming in to mm -hmm. – because you have a pretty veteran roster over there, right? Yeah. So how do mm -hmm. you see that kind of coming in? Obviously, he's going to be one of the highly touted players too, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, I think he's already fitting in. I think, you know, the moment after me and him talked initially, he was in our Discord, you know, getting in tune with the players and really uh, feeling out the community. Uh, he's in there just about every day talking to people and really trying to get to know people on a more personal level. Um, and obviously, you know, we, uh, he has that, that, that will to win. He wants to be one of the best, you know, collegiate main tanks in the game. And I think he's on his way to doing that with the mindset that he has. So um, I definitely think, you know, with the, the very inclusive and um, determined culture that we're building at Ottawa, he's going to fit right in and find his home. My name is Mason Firthner. I play Overwatch and going to Ottawa University. Well, it was something that I was looking into, and I didn't think it was going to happen, but it's happening now. And um, I'm super excited about it. Sergio had reached out to me, and uh, he's super nice. And I had a friend who also went there. He told me good things about him. And it's also a smaller school, which is nice. That's kind of why I wanted to go there.